All right, hello everyone. So we'll just do this a bit quick because we're doing an actual uh, switching off, switching on on the mass riser pump. So uh, yeah, uh, good thing it's this is uh, the area is uh, in the inside the trunk deck, so no security cameras are uh, you know no security cameras. So uh, what I'm going to do now is capture it on video on how I uh, switch on the mass riser uh, pump so it's a good thing that uh, the uh, officer on watch has uh, what I call this called me all over the radio with this one so okay uh, this two is already switched on so I have this Oh, damn it. Just give me a moment. Alright, it's open. This one's fully open. Okay, I'm just gonna send in the radio. Please come in. Opening now, must place the pump. Uh, what's up, dude? You're calling? Mass uh, riser pump uh, now open. Uh, Mass riser pump now started, okay. Okay, so there we go. So you've seen it on the actual on how I opened the mass riser uh, pump. The one that you're seeing here is a fixed position or a fixed position of the uh, welding pump. So I'm going to return now. So that was uh, pretty much very quick. Just keep in mind, this is our mass riser pump. Okay. So, uh, yeah, that was kind of, you know, funny because I was uh, thinking of another blog, but, uh, you know, I ended up uh, having to, uh, you know, demonstrate on the actual, uh, uh, the actual uh, uh, method and how to switch the mass riser here in the um, here in the uh, shuttle the in the shuttle tanker uh, my mass riser pumps are uh, open by uh, by uh, the wheel but in normal VLCCs and uh, VLCCs and crude oil tanker is just usually just uh, twisting in terms of those valves, it's not operated by a wielding or if it's operated by a wielding or a pump it's inside somewhere in the machinery, not outside so anyway, I'll just uh, switch off now my blog here Hello, good day everyone. So, uh, welcome back again. So, this is another separate blog that I have to uh, talk about. If I've already shown you the uh, how to uh, switch on the, uh, uh, what do you call this? Uh, the, ow, oh, I forgot the last blog. Uh, it's uh, something about the, uh, for the pump. Ah, uh, mass riser pump. Now what I'm going to show you is the vacuum system pump that uh, we do here. Now this is usually switched on if we are discharging cargo, but right now we are not uh, we are not exactly uh, we're not exactly uh, uh, unloading cargo. We're ca actually we're doing the opposite right now. The ship is doing opposite. We're kind of loading cargo. 
So I'm just going to show you a very brief here on the operation of cargo vacuum system. Now for those of you, uh, there's an instruction here that determines on how to operate the cargo vacuum system. You can just read it out aloud. It's very pretty much straightforward. So number one is open the yellow separator valve one, two, three, and four. And uh, open the red valves one, two, and three, five, the unit and open. Actually, the more important here is just only this three. Uh, four and five is either optional. So right now, um, so we're going to step number one. So uh, yeah, um, yeah, I'll go for step number one. So uh, we just have to proceed one level down on our, uh, or actually two levels down. So it's kind of printing the uh, lengthy uh, process. So uh, the only thing you have to do is that you pretty much have to have a very good uh, legs on it. So we're currently, if you're trying to ask which area we are from right now on this ship, we're currently inside the pump room. So uh, here we go. So it's actually four valves, if you ask me. Um, this is the first step. This is separator line to vacuum pump one, two, three, and four. Numbers 574, 575, 576, and 577. So right now, since we're loading cargo, and we're not discharging, this is closed. So as you can see, the line here that we mark here, this indicates that the line valve is closed. And if you ask me where is this connected, these four, these four is connected to the actual cargo lines themselves, right down beneath. So we'll take a look. So if you ask me, these are the four cargo valves that are connected on uh, right on the upper floor. This is one, two, three, and four. Okay. Okay, so we've already uh, showed you that uh, those four separator valves and where it is connected. So we're going to go for uh, step number two. Okay, so it's quite a ways of a walk. Okay, Whew. you know that's the problem with the pump room. It's always a very long and stiff walk up and a stiff walk down. <sighs> okay. Right. So, uh, step number two here is basically switching this on. That one red valve and the other red valve, this one. Now, these two red valves are basically connected to the uh, vacuum pump itself and the other to the slop, uh, slop starboard. Sorry, uh, so we're gonna go now for the slump tank valve. Uh, so we're gonna go for one floor up. Which is, of course, the last part that we're gonna do. So this is the last uh, valve that you're gonna open to operate the vacuum pump. So once it's fully open, we're gonna call the CCR and tell them that the vacuum pump system is already uh, aligned and ready. So there we go. Whew. Sorry, all that, uh, you know, walking and up in the is really uh, very taxing. So uh, we'll continue on with our next vlog.